Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports Today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. We have been waiting and waiting with anticipation and finally it is coming. I am talking about Woodburn Library re reopening and here to tell us more about an upcoming gala and the actual reopening, we have Kim Sump Paris, who is the director of the library, Barbara Dennison, who is on the board of trustees, and Georgia Mergler, who is the community information manager, right? Close Perfect. enough. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all from the library. And we are excited. And as we were saying, um, this has been, what, 18 months yes. in the making? So I know before we started the program, we were talking about, oh, my gosh, fall of 2018. And here it is. So um, when you go down 6060 Far Hills Avenue, the sign has been revealed. The building has been revealed. But we can't go inside yet. Not yet. Not yet. But you're kicking off with the gala. Yes. Right, Barbara? Tell us about yes. that. Um, we have a foundation board of community volunteers and our committee on the trustees. And in talking about the opening of the library, our first thought was we need a party. So, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so we are having a sneak peek gala on Thursday, September 20th from 6 to 9 p.m. Can I? Yeah, tell, please tell us give about all the yeah, good sure. stuff. We're going to have obviously wonderful food. We did a tasting at Scratch Catering, and we're having wonderful fall themed food, including a build your own mac and cheese bar, oh. which should be fun. We're having uh, wine and beer from Arrow Wine, and to top it off, we're having killer brownie bites thanks to Dorothy Lane Market. Oh, great. Uh, we're going to have people arrive and walk in. Uh, escorted by Forte, the a cappella okay. group from, from the high school. high school. And then af people will have a chance to go visit all the different stations in the library, the kids area, the teen area, the program area. And we will have our four artists. We did a um, public call for art uh, over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, artists with connections to the Miami Valley nice. applied and we um, commissioned four works of art that we're very excited about. Um, there's a ha mobile hanging called Blueprints that's made partly with blueprints from the new library and the old library. Uh, there's a children's wall by David Corns, who's a Centerville High grad and grew up going to Woodburn. And then we have pieces by Ron Guybert and Amy Collar Anderson. So they will be available to talk to people. We'll have entertainment by Jim McCutcheon and just time to meet and greet. So for tickets, this is a fundraiser for the this library, This is a right? fundraiser. The individual tickets are $60.60, which, is, explain, which yes. is a tribute to <laughs> Woodburn being at 6060 okay. Far Hills Avenue. And that includes food, a drink ticket, and the entertainment. And people can go to wclibrary.info, the library's website, and search for, for the gala and buy tickets. Okay, um, and I wanna go back a little bit because we talk about 6060 Far Hills Avenue and the side of the library, but that was not always a library, right? There's a, some interesting history no, there. there was, it wasn't always a library. In fact, it was originally built in the 60s. It was a hunter savings and loan for people who have lived here all their lives. They might remember it. We have some photos yeah. of the facade of the building, which doesn't look that much different than it did, you know, 18 months ago. Right. Uh, the interior looked a little bit different, kind of from the scene of Mad Men there, it looks like. <laughs> but but yeah. yet popular again, this furniture but style, it, it right? It was. So this was this building was built in the mid-century modern design, uh, had in, designed by famous architect Woody Garber. And uh, we tried to stay true to the original design in the building with the renovation. But then in 1980, the library board purchased this property and turned it into a library. And so before the library closed, that's what it looked like. And there's the interior that everyone remembers and loves. That's what we're familiar with. That's However, what you're familiar with. That's what it looked like before yeah. it closed in December of 2016. Um, and now the building obviously has been transformed. Mm -hmm. So there's some shots of the exterior. We're kind of keeping what the interior looks like quiet so that it can be a big reveal come September. But I can tell you that the interior is going to be jaw dropping. I'm excited about it, and I know that um, you really talked with the community to really find out what the needs were 
in terms of developing the new library, right? Yeah, that actually started even before we began the, the design work with uh, LWC is the architect mm -hmm. uh, company that we've been working with and they're located in Dayton. So we really reached out to the community with focus groups, surveys, to find out what they wanted, what they imagined in their library. Um, and John Fabella, the lead architect, and Bear Manita um, both set in on all of those focus groups to really get a sense of, of what folks in the community wanted in their new Woodburn library. And I like that you call it in their library because there's something about Woodburn that holds a special place. Everybody yes. loves Woodburn Library. Everybody loves Woodburn Library. <laughs> There's something library. so special yes. about it. And so yes. you've really built upon that and some exciting things, some new amenities uh, are going to be featured when the library opens to the public, which is on September 23rd. Right? Correct. Yes. So we're what will we see then? We're having a public grand opening. And at the sneak peek, people will see yeah. these new amenities too. But the public grand opening is on Sunday, September 23rd. That event is free and open to people of all ages where the gala is for adults 21 and older right. because there will be alcohol served. But um, in the new library, there are things, there's programming space. So we didn't have a space necessarily dedicated to offering programs at Woodburn. So we have nice programming space. We had people tell us we'd really like some more public meeting space that we could use. So we have some quiet rooms for, for students who want to study or for tutors or just, you know, smaller groups of people who want to meet as well as a couple of meeting rooms. So there are really seven public meeting spaces in that and building. And you've really expanded of a variety the square of footage, sizes. right? The footprint is much bigger. Yeah. Well, it's 10,000 square yeah. feet bigger, yes. 10,000 square feet. That's big. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So plenty of meeting space right. as well. There's a dedicated teen area, which we didn't have necessarily before. A creativity space, because we're doing a lot more maker programs, some um, like learning to solder and things that might get a little bit messy so we have a space that has um, some hard surface floors and a drain in it, things like that, so we can accommodate that kind of programming, a separate children's story time area, which is an enclosed room, so lots of, lots of new things. And you've really um, tried to stay true to that mid-century modern vibe too, right? Yes, yes, we really worked. Um, an architect from the University of Cincinnati, Patrick Snaden, I think really impressed upon us what we had here, the jewel that we had in the community. He was literally driving by the library in 2014, saw the library, went in, introduced himself to really? the ref. Yes, it's a great story. Yeah. Introduced himself to the reference staff. Uh, they um, put Patrick uh, and I in touch with each other. I reached out to Patrick Hansford, who's another local architect here in town, and you know we started you know to to craft the story of this Woody Garber building. Um, Patrick and another UC professor, uh, Elizabeth Meyer, actually uh, held two UC classes at our library. Her class was uh, uh, design uh, and historical uh, renovation, and so she brought teams of students in to measure everything, uh, you know, to get a sense Right of here, that we didn't even realize, this little gem. Yes, and then uh, Patrick had a studio class, and he had his students, uh, if they wanted to, I mean, there were three sites they could pick from, but one site was the Woodburn Library, to design an addition onto the library. So, and our John Fabella from LWC helped judge the, the coursework uh, wow. in the project. So, yeah, we really, we really started something very, very special. There's quite a story here uh, in all of this. And uh, um, we will, uh, this is after the, the gala and the uh, grand opening, but in November, uh, on November 3rd, we're going to have a Rediscovering Woodburn Day where local, uh, uh, our local uh, historians, um, Patrick Hansford, Don Ackerman, are going to do programming on what the village of Woodburn used to be, and then Patrick Snaden, Patrick Hansford, and Elizabeth Meyer are going to come in and talk about the history of mid-century mid architecture. So, Which is really popular right now. I mean, everybody has yes, an interest in that. Yes. So I know we'll probably have you back on to talk about that program. Yes, but, yes. But the, um, the sunscreen is mm -hmm. such a feature that I don't think I, don't think I ever realized 
the historic value of yes, it. Yes, it, 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 um, we know that it, um, it took its inspiration uh, from works by Harry Bertoia. We're not exactly sure that he actually, you know, designed and built it, but Woody Garber and Harry Bertoia, uh, a sculptor, um, were very good friends. So we know that there's definitely a connection. And it, it is so unique. The steel that it is made from is called Core 10 Steel. And in its day, this was like a new product. And it is designed to rust the way, you know, the way it deteriorates. Um, but you, so we were excited to have it, you know, refurbished, but wanted to make sure what we had, you know, was something that we should, you know, we should do that to. So we worked with the local um, Centerville Washington found, or the Centerville Washington Landmarks Foundation, Patrick Hansford mm -hmm. again, uh, they gave us the money to have the piece evaluated by the McKay Lodge Conservation Laboratory out of uh, Oberlin, Ohio. They came down and said, you have a structurally sound, you know, uh, piece of art here. It's just, it doesn't look very good. Yeah. Um, so they, um, you know, gave us a quote on how we could get it, you know, what it would cost to have it refurbished. Uh, we were used monies from our Dorothy R. Yeck uh, Arts Endowment for Woodburn Library to pay for the renovation and um, it's renovated so they cleaned it and then not every cube was painted originally and so because a few people have asked me well why didn't you paint every cube because every cube wasn't originally painted but the orange blue and white are the original colors you could do a class on this we <laughs> could do a class it's so on exciting. that yes it is and, so exciting and it really is on the outside, it's an ooh and ah, so I can't wait to get inside to see it. And the it, new sign reflects the. Yes, yes, yes. If yes, you can see yes, the new sign, the new yes. sign reflects the it has been done revealed, sign right? screen. We had the unveiling for that. And right. I will add uh, that we recently we're going to do a commemorative library card as part of the public oh, yeah. of the public grand opening, and we recently let the patrons vote on. We had three different library card designs, and they picked the design that had the sunscreen on it. So we will have a That's limited a yeah. we will have a limited supply of those commemorative library cards if people either are new to the system and they want to get a library card or they've had a card and they just want to get a commemorative card. So we'll have those available while supplies last. And that they will go quickly, <laughs> I know. So September twentieth is the gala. Yes. Best and place to go for tickets is, is the website. The website. Mm -hmm. And I did want to mention we have some wonderful sponsors and with our proceeds. We, we've been letting people vote on their favorite project, and so far the winner is an interactive children's wall by the Burgeon Group that will be designed specially for Woodburn. Okay, and then on September 23rd, Georgia, is the grand opening That is the grand the opening, yes, and we've had lots of generous donations from local businesses to that, too, so we're going to have lots of raffle prizes to give away. And entertainment and all kinds yep. of fun stuff, and that starts at... 12:30. Then we're gonna have flag dedication at 12:30, ribbon cutting remarks at one, and then we'll let people in and let them browse to the heart's content. And then the next day, your regular hours back at mm -hmm. Woodburn, mm -hmm. right? 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. So open, and I know you have some office space in there too. We do. You're gonna, we, you're, you're gonna be making a move, and I don't know yeah. where, where will you end up, Kim. I'm staying at Centerville. Okay. Yes, yeah. I'm staying we, at Centerville. I know everyone knows, but we do have two libraries. Yes, do. yes, yes. Don't forget about <laughs> Centerville. Don't forget about yeah. Centerville. Yes, library. absolutely, absolutely. And Lots still, to offer in both uh, places. Programs will be going on in both. Yes, yes. this just yes. actually offers additional space for more community activities. Yes, yes. correct. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Um, so for more information, you can go to the Centerville website, um, Centerville Library website, which is w. The library. library dot info. info. I always yes. want to make sure I get that correct. But you can always stop by because you all are so welcoming and ready to give information about both events. Um, again, the gala is a ticketed event. It is for adults. Mm -hmm. um, you can get more information on the website. And then the opening, the public opening of the library will be on September 23rd. That's a Sunday. Correct. We start with the flag ceremony. Lots of activities for families and fun. I guess browsing, you can see everything that's available. Right. You can use the library, you can check out materials. Yes. With your commemorative yeah. card. Yes. Right, right. right. So, we'll be but they'll be, it'll be fully staffed and we'll have lots of folks there to be docents and give tours. Yeah, well that's terrific. Well thank you ladies for oh, sharing all well, the exciting information. Thank you I can't wait to see us. it. When you drive by there, excitement, excitement. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.